We are here today on the 30th anniversary of the establishment of the Order of British Columbia. Today we will bestow the highest form of recognition the province can extend to its citizens. Know ye that in recognition of serving with the greatest distinction and excellence in a field of endeavor benefiting the people of the province of British Columbia or elsewhere, on the nomination of our advisory council to the Order of British Columbia, and with the approval and on the recommendation of the Executive Council, we do, by these presents, invest you with the Order of British Columbia, and we do hereby admit you to the membership of the said Order, together with all and singular the rights, privileges, and advantages to the Order pertaining or which of right ought to appertain to the same. You know, our job is big, to look after each other, to walk together as one, to make our parents proud. I think that people that live here, even if you've come later in life, you do feel a tremendous sense of pride in being in this province. And I think part of why we have become so involved is, is a reflection of that, that, that pride. We saw the people who make our community an incredible place to live and this concept, not just about forgiveness, but about civility and a civil society, it's so important because it counters all of the forces that tend to pull that apart. It is the charity and giving nature of Canadians, I believe, that bind us together. We have a, a commitment, a universal commitment, uh, to public services like health care and education and social services. But we also have, I believe, at our core, a sense that we need to help each other out. And the philanthropy and the service and the giving of our 15 recipients this year are a testimony to that. I think it's important for people to think about those who are around them in their workplaces, in their communities, who've made extraordinary contributions and to make the effort to bring them forward as nominees. I felt in my mind it was a good opportunity for children for the future to see what people have done so that they can follow the same plan and the issue really is to help people and makes a better world if you can do that and you give your time and effort, but it feels good to be part of that process. I really think that uh, recognition like this isn't the end, but it's really the beginning. And I feel quite humbled and they give me that support, so I intend to use this recognition to keep on uh, giving. You're an inspiration to British Columbians. Certainly, you're an inspiration to me. You give me hope for a better world. You really, truly do. I'm deeply honoured to be in your company today. Thank you so much, Heichka.